and then I have two money bags. So you guys are still tied for onk. Made a new friend at work today. I think he was chilled much longer, so he's not doing well. He's not dead. And he was in this corn. Look at what he did to it. So I guess he's a corn man. Friends is that Maggie? Who's out there? He's trying to escape. Where are you going? You don't like corn anymore? What's up? She has no spots. No spots at all. I don't think he's eating anything, so I'm gonna give him some kale. Just in case. He just doesn't like corn anymore? I don't know. I thought I'd have a bit of fun and go wandering a bit far away from home. But I mostly just feel anxious. <laughs> Trying to enjoy myself. But it all feels kind of forced, you know? Well, that was kind of a disaster. <laughs> I have way too much anxiety. I'm doing some really quick bird sketches after my attempt to have a nice day at uh, Granville Island and quickly came home. <laughs> um, I thought it'd be kind of neat to uh, illustrate the public market from the point of view of someone with social anxiety. So I was gonna do giant crowd of birds because the island it really is kind of taken over by birds and here are the ones that are most prominent we got the geese we got the european starlings unfortunately um and some pigeons and yeah i think that could be fun we have lots of different bird layers and i can make use of that um public market sketch i did a while ago so that would be fun So when you have a bunch of art that is sort of thematic, as I do, um, you can request for an art exhibition. This is 2017, but whatever. <laughs> um, so they sent me this form, and it'll ask your basic contact, blah blah blah. You'll have to be a Arts Council member to join, and that does cost money, but you know it's important, and you get really important newsletters that inform you of what shows are coming up and how you can be a part of them, so it's worth it. Email your biography, artist statement, and four photos of pieces that will be in the show plus a headshot. <clears throat> Personally, I think the hardest part of this is the headshot because I don't take pictures of myself ever, but I have a really old one that I think I might send, so now that I got that out of the way, I think I'm about ready, so I signed it and dated it. And I've done this before, so what usually happens is that they will email you and tell you if you are in. Um, they will tell you if you have a partner or if you don't have a partner, and they will tell you um, when it's happening, when you're supposed to drop off your stuff. You have to have inventory sheets. Yeah, so you'll have to make your own press release, which I don't think I even did. And they say that they will take a 25% commission 
totally fair considering that they are providing the venue so they should be paid for that and then you gotta host a reception on, on the day of the opening it's only a couple of hours you usually bring food and yeah so um, not every gallery is going to function that way at all um, these these people are um, much more relaxed and open which is what I like um, and other galleries will only request you to send pictures by email and that's it. Um, other ones do a really old fashioned portfolio mailing which I will probably show you when I do that later. <laughs> it's a lot easier than you think it is. It's just, uh, I think it's the writing that is difficult. 